he told me we were going to a Tap Sihan. Did I say it right? Tap Sihan. Tap Sihan. Tap Sihan. There we go. Tap Sihan. Hello, familia. Welcome back to LLVT. You got Christina and the boys here. Wow. I mean, I don't even know what to say about the location that we're currently at today. Uh, we are actually out in Marikina, believe it or not, and we're gonna try something a little different and we're gonna grab a bite to eat here at Rustic Mornings. This place is green, very green. The clean, refreshing air is good for my lungs. The reality of shooting with our young boys is that sometimes hunger takes precedence over getting the right footage. We're definitely not actors, and this is real life. Well, they're letting you know I'm hungry and I want to eat. I'm hungry and I want to eat. And this cute little girl is Kayla, our new friend. Okay, so first I'm gonna try some the eggs and sausage, put some ketchup on it. First thing I notice is that there's lots of pepper on the egg. Mmm. I like those sausages. Juicy. When you bite into it, a lot of the oil comes out. That's really good. So we've got the veggie omelet here. It looks like it's got, I'm like salivating, uh, mushrooms, some peppers, maybe zucchini in there, some kind of squash, some tomato, of course, salt and pepper, eggs and cheese. Kaysen in the background, though. She's like slobbering, trying to eat my food right now. So for people who don't normally watch the channel, you'll be new to know that I don't really like eggs very much. And the reason is because I like my eggs a little bit crunchy, a little bit uh, well done. These are a little soft for me. Still very, very delicious. The veggies make all the difference for me. As long as there's a whole lot more veggie to egg ratio, I'm happy with it. This is a place that I probably never would have been able to find uh, driving-wise to even get here, but also just researching. Um, and we are here thanks to Key. I know it's Key, but I, Ma, Foodie Mama, Foodie Mama PH. I, I wanted to say Mama Foodie, but Foodie Mama. <laughs> I watched like so many of your videos and I still forgot what to call you. And our special guest this morning is Kayla. Kayla. What are you eating, Kayla? Oh wait, let's see if I get that right. Eat log, yeah? Did I get it right? I call it strawberry and ice cream, sausage and dash brown. Mm. Yeah, so this place called Rustic Mornings, uh, it's been open for 10 years already, but it used to be a private dining place that's only open for dinner. Uh, before only Mar Marikenas know it, but now like people from every part of the Philippines come here. It used to be a secret, but now no more. Uh, Portia, the owner, is my friend, and her mother, uh, most of the artworks here, uh, the design of the glass, the, the plates, is made by her mother. Rustic Mornings is a popular restaurant located in Marikina City, Philippines. It is known for its charming, rustic ambiance, homey vibe, and delectable dishes. The restaurant is situated in a converted old house that exudes a cozy and laid-back atmosphere. It features vintage furnishings, quaint decor, and an outdoor garden that's perfect for alfresco dining. So they just gave us some complimentary sorbets right now. Ready, Michaela? Okay. Three, three, two, one. There's actual bits of pineapple in there. Oh. And she gives it, it's really good. Really sour, really sweet at the same time. Oh, you? No. Sour. sour. All right, so I got the pineapple lime sorbet. Let me try. There's the kilig after, and uh, it's very refreshing. Not too sweet. Love it. All right, I really don't know how to, I guess, describe this place. You drive through this city, like you're coming off of like C5, and you're driving down the road here in Marikina, and then you kind of turn down this alleyway, and you come upon um, this it's like a little oasis out in the middle of the city. You feel like you're actually sitting um, 
in someone's backyard. It's very reminiscent of when we went to Lola Noor's in um, Pampanga recently. It's a very, very cool place. I would totally recommend checking it out. And now I have to go find Key and see where we're going next because um, she's got some ideas of different places to take us to eat at the Key. Where are we off to next? So we're going to a famous Tapsihan in Marikina. Tapsihan. Ooh, I'm excited. You ready, Bunto? Yes, I'm ready. Back on the road to our next stop. We won uh, the race. We won the race. Rowan said we were racing them to see who would get here first. He told me we were going to a Tapsihan. Did I say it right? Tapsihan? Tapsihan. Tapsihan. There we go. Tapsihan. And we're here. It's called uh, Tapsi Ni Bibyan at Bulaluhan. Bulaluhan. Tapsi Ni Bibyan at Bulaluhan is a popular restaurant also located in Marikina City and it's known for its delicious Filipino comfort food. One of the most popular dishes here is their tapsilog, which is a classic Filipino breakfast meal consisting of a tender beef tapa, which is a cured meat, garlic fried rice, and a fried egg. This restaurant has a casual and laid back ambiance with simple furnishings and a no frill setting that's perfect for enjoying good food with family and friends. There was so much good looking food here. I didn't know what to get. Oh, ooh, I haven't had that before. Wow. Ad Adobong gusit? That's atay, the uh, liver, chicken liver. Oh. And gizzard. I just watched you eating that this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Lechong kawali. Oh. And fried chicken for Rowan. Fried chicken for Rowan, his favorite. I was trying to learn this morning on what do you call that in Tagalog, and I already forgot. It's a anong and then dito po, but I forgot the middle word. <laughs> I'm gonna let you pick everything. Let's see. Okay, so I think we're gonna do some chicken liver. Binagungan. Binagungan. I'm gonna ruin it. Binagungan. I hope I got it right with some bagoong. And I'm officially gonna try beef paris for the first okay. time as well. So, got a lot of first times happening today. Oh. And Kuya said he wants some of that deep fried isao. The table is starting to fill up with plates of food, many of which I have never tried. But we start off with this. Liver in here? Wow. Are there other parts? Gizzard and chicken liver. Gizzards and livers. Okay. Not sure if you're supposed to do this, but Kuya likes calamansi. Look at you! What? Where'd you learn this technique? From watching people eat. Oh. Ready? Oi, cheers! It's <laughs> <laughs> very chewy. One of the best things in the world. The sauce has a very sweet component. The sauce is adobo, so it's very savory. Chicken liver, super creamy, melts in the mouth. To those who are afraid of eating innards, please do start with chicken liver. It's so good. Me! <laughs> totally. When Brian and I first met, this was one of the dishes he used to like to eat liver, liver and onions a lot mm. with rice. And I just couldn't stand the smell of it. It would just, oh. So I'm afraid, but I'll try it. It's really good. Genuinely, you cannot tell that it's liver. Flavor-wise, I love just that adobo, like the soy sauce and the vinegar. I think it's a texture thing for me. Um, I don't know, it's a little too like mushy. I always thought liver was gonna taste like dirt for some reason, and I'm not getting that flavor at all. Isn't it like ma mashed potato mushy? No, I'm trying to think of like a good comparison. Like I see it and I, I see like pate. That's you what it reminds me of. Foie gras? I've never had foie gras. Really? Because it looks scary texture wise. I think the first bite that I took was the gizzard oh. because it was hard, rough, and had a leather like texture. Mm. But this is like soft and mushy. Yeah, soft and mushy, right? Yeah. Would you eat that again? Yeah. I like this one. This dish is the ultimate tongue twister for me. Is binagoangang baboy. Pork belly cooked in a shrimp paste known as bagoong. Is that potato? That's fat. That's fat? Oh my. 
That is fat. That is fat. That fat tried to trick me. All right, we're gonna skip the fatty bit. A little sauce. We'll get a chili in there. All right, mommy's gonna go for this. Oh, cheers, Kuya. Can you get it, please? Why do I do that? Why am I always afraid of something that there's no reason to be afraid of it, right? It's very rough. Hard to chew through. Yeah, but I like it. It's bitter and sweet. And I got the chili in mine, and so I got that really good little spicing component in there. It definitely tastes that bagoong. I'm not gonna use Kaysen's word of overpowering, but it definitely dominates the dish, that's for sure. That chili makes a huge difference. What? You want to try some miso chips too? Yeah. Go for it. Miso party. Everybody go. Mm. <laughs> mm. I need some vinegar right now. Can we, can we get some vinegar? I was literally just thinking the same thing. It smells very much like a, a roasted barbecue. Very hard to chew through, but once you get through it, it gets very crunchy. And it tastes super good. No! It tastes a tad bit like tablets. I got way a little longer. Go for it. Go ahead, Robo. Oh, yeah. I had a really nice one. Very All crunchy good. and crispy. Mm -hmm. They also gave us complimentary bowls of this delicious goodness. Cheers on this one. Complimentary bulalo soup. Cheers, Robo. <laughs> and then cheers. Be careful, be careful. Uh, it's strange how something very savory can be so refreshing. There's definitely a good uh, few centimeters of fat on the top of that for sure. That's the thing with beef. Anything with beef, you have to eat it and consume right away. Yeah, it's delicious though. Can I finish I yours? love bulalo. That's one of my favorites. Okay, let's jump to the beef, beef pares. I have never tried beef pares. Um, some of our viewers commented to us on the YouTube channel that we needed to try beef pares. Okay. So I'm excited. We're going to try this now. Do the honor. Wait, what? Okay. And you said this was cooked in like a soy sauce and a little looks, bit of sugar. It looks like beef care care. It looks like a, like a caldereta or like a beef nice. adobo. Oh. Definitely taste that star anise in there. Very Vietnamese flavor to it. Um, it tastes like the broth that you would order in a beef, beef Vietnamese noodle pho. Like a pho, right? Mm -hmm. Because of that star anise that's in there. The sugar and the soy sauce, they balance each other out so it's not too sweet, but it's also not too salty. And the meat is just so incredibly tender. I like that if I'm craving like a sweet meat. But because I like things that are more on the spicy side, I don't think that's something I would order on a regular basis. Very different. Too sweet for you? Too sweet for me. What I do is squeeze the calamansi on it. Let's squeeze some calamansi. Mm. Need the calamansi? All right. Yeah. Squeeze it in there. All right. Boy, I, that's best with garlic rice, but it's mm. okay with plain right now, for now. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Changes it completely. <laughs> wow. I need more of it as long as it has color right. and tea. Yeah, and do you know why it's called pares? No. Because it's it comes in pairs. So it, it should go with garlic rice and the, and the soup. Oh. It's a, it's a pares. It's pears. I thought it was because it was like a good friend. <laughs> <laughs> so I've learned enough from my Filipino husband to be wary of bones in bangus. Tinik. Oh, and you know what we need on this? This first. Where did you learn that? That guy right there. <laughs> I love vinegar. I never knew vinegar was a, a condiment like really? to add to foods until I started eating more Filipino food. Yeah. And it's like there at the at the table all the time. And so we just, he said, yeah, put it on, see what it does. And it changes like almost everything, but True. it enhances so many flavors. This is a very meaty bangus. Is it boneless though? I don't see any. I don't see any bone in there. You should go to the market. Woo. It's very 
very fast paced. Like, really? Have, they just like, pull them out? Fish. That's crazy. So I was talking just a minute ago about condiments. I told him that I feel like Filipinos are a condiment culture, and he disagreed with me to a certain extent. Basically, we call them sausawan. Yes. The, the sauces to go with the food. Um, I grew up in an American household, and so I was very used to, if we had white rice, and we would always put soy sauce directly on our rice. Okay. And that's how we ate rice. I think the first time I did it, he looked at me and he was like, what are you doing? And I'm like, you don't put soy sauce on your rice? He's like, no, we don't do that. And then, you know, it's kind of like, I learned a whole new way to eat rice with my food, not as like uh, its own side dish. The reason why the tapa, sinanga, and it log became a combo is because the owner here, Vivian, called it like that. Okay, let's, let's just call it tapsi log. So this is the home of Topsy Log. This is the original. This is where you're going to find it. It's Filipino skills right there. It really is. Cheers. Cheers. That is really good. That is so tender. So when you mix it with the vinegar, you get another really good mixture of flavor, a sweet and sour area. So good. It reminds me of like a piece of beef jerky mm -hmm. that's been sitting in its juices. And it smells like beef jerky too. <laughs> it smells like beef jerky too. Kayla and Rowan seem to really enjoy the deep fried isao. Some days you really blow my mind, do you know that? I can't choose between the tapsilo or the chicken liver. I think, I'd say they're equal. I really like those two. Mommy's favorite was that papa beef jerky flavor that was so delicious and it was just so tender, just fell apart in your mouth. That was amazing. Which one was your favorite? Tapsilog. This is really good. The chicken liver? Of course, chicken liver. Ah. I said tapsilog and chicken liver were equal. My food buddy. <laughs> I found him. I am stuffed, but I always leave room for dessert. So we came out here to Ayala Mall's Feliz, and this arcade is ridiculous. It looks humongous. Probably the biggest one that we've seen since we've been here. I had to catch this before the sun officially sets because it just looks so amazing. And after a little bit of arcade time and a little bit of dessert, we wrap up the evening. So refreshing, especially at night time with that nice little Oreo crispy crunch. We are grateful for Key and her hospitality in showing us around this beautiful city. And the boys are happy for meeting their new friend. That is it for us here at Live in La Vida Tagalog. Please make sure you like, follow, and subscribe us and Booty Mama PH, Miss Key over here. She is dropping knowledge bombs like you would not believe for her subscribers. So definitely check her out. Thank you so much for watching. Salama, you got some nice time. time. Oh my gosh, I forgot. It's growing at it. Wait. And we found the kimonis. Okay, fine. We found like tadpoles inside this dirty little area. Can you guys see them? You've seen our special guest, Kayla. What are you doing today? I'm gonna remove the seeds off the board. The one and only Booty Mama, PH. I made a huge mistake, guys. Keep your food on your plate.